In this video, let us learn about the medicines that we use to treat gout. The main player in gout is uric acid. Gout has an acute phase and a chronic phase. In acute phase, the patient presents with joint pain and inflammation. To treat that, we use three lines of drug. The first line is NSAIDs, that is non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. If they fail to elicit a response or in cases where we cannot use NSAIDs, for example, uret nephropathy or NSAID allergy, we go for the second line, that is colchicine. If colchicine fails also, then we go for the third line, that is corticosteroids. After that, in the chronic phase, we focus on controlling the hyperuricemia. We have three classes of drug for that. The first class is xanthine oxidase inhibitor like allopurinol. Xanthine oxidase converts hypoxanthine to xanthine and xanthine to uric acid. If we inhibit xanthine oxidase, it will reduce the production of uric acid. The second class to treat chronic gout are uricosuric agents, the drugs which increases the excretion of uric acid via kidney. This, for example, probenecid. If we fail to control uric acid levels in blood after using these two, we go for a third line of drug, that is uricase analogs. In birds, we have an enzyme known as uricase which converts uric acid into allantoin. This allantoin can be easily excreted out by kidney. We humans don't have this uricase enzyme. So if we introduce uricase in the body as a medicine, we can convert uric acid into allantoin and can easily excrete that. Uricase analogs include raspberrycase and peglotikase. So overall, we have three classes of medicines to treat chronic gout and three lines of medicines to treat acute gout. I hope you have understood the overview well. Until then, bye bye. See you in the next one.